determination. Gulda, the ultimate. Welcome to the moment of truth in the Gulda Ultimate Search Season 8, Contest of Champions. Our first batch of 10 contestants arrived to start their jungle journey and were set off to the place where they had to build their shelter. Trying to find our way to the camp and it's really Arriving at the place, they started setting up their shelter. Okay, uh, let's, let's pick out the ones we used to sleep first. It's almost getting late and we have not achieved anything. After setting up a very basic structure, they oh, investigated cool. their backpacks to see what they were given. Here we are on the very first day of our challenge. Their first task saw so Kane Dave dropping out first in a game where all the men were beaten by all the women. We have a large stock of food waiting for you in the camp. It the person to win the game was Geraldine, Geraldine and her reward was food. Back at the camp, they eagerly started preparing food. Well, Geraldine is not the most popular, I must say, because, you know, she picks up fights and all. No, 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 no. you don't do that. You don't do that. I have all my food. You don't do that. Bring up on me. You don't do that. No matches. Kevin tried to get something going with a spark, but to no avail. This is a delicacy. Alvin tried to prepare some supposed delicacy with Gary, but it was not very well received. Kende. That evening, Kende was evicted. today as the first person to drop. You stand evicted from Gruder Ultimate Search Season 8. The best. Back at camp, Kendi's sudden departure sends him. ripples he through the contestants. A, he was actually, uh, although he was a tough, he, he was a, a tough contestant, and though I wouldn't say I'm too um, unhappy, yes, I'm not too unhappy because um, you never can tell about tomorrow. I was disappointed, but I wasn't shocked at the fact that he left because he kept complaining about the camp, bugs, food, you know, just little, little complaints like that. Yeah. My guy, Kenny, man. Where's Kenny? Gone. Kenny's gone. Yeah, no. ah. Oh, shit, yeah. The search <laughs> for anything to make fire with <laughs> continues. Can Whatever. Check? Guys, can we check for the matches or something? No, they have checked. Betty, I checked there. To me, Kenny is one of the strongest, if not the strongest, contender right now, you know, among the contestants, you know. And um, most people were happy, like really, really happy that, oh, finally, this guy got evicted first. He had been seen as a very strong person, so he was really a threat to some people, especially the ladies. The ladies. I can imagine, like, the Ag Betty, who is the strongest, I've called his name also. Um, he looks very strong, actually. He's strong. I was very shocked he had to uh, be out. Well, it was one of my threats, actually, to be sincere. Um, I'm kind of happy to see him go, but I'm also not happy because I start, I like his jokes. He's really funny. It's kind of sad, but it's okay. It's dawn of day three in the jungle for our first batch of ten contestants. They're getting accustomed to the morning rituals, like fetching water. I feel well rested this morning, but my arm aches from yesterday's task. Seriously. There's no conversation during the morning rituals. It's a time for contemplation and thinking about what lies ahead. Or perhaps they're just still sleepy. And with no fire, there's no prospect of breakfast. I'm gonna kill me! Oh God! Don't drink crazy. Face was looking at something that used to do sacrifice. Kevin is increasingly pulling away from the chatter and socializing. I don't know how to describe it. I'm I'm happy, 
but I'm also kind of sad because like I'm really starting to miss my girlfriend and everything and I seem to keep passing these things and I'm still here but well, that's good but I'm just there man I'm just there Instead of fixing their shelter, they revive the age-old art of gisting. But the subject keeps on going back to food. When food comes, you don't care about food. You don't care about food. Food is nothing. Yeah. But break this side. Record it here. I'm just worried about you. Food is something. Food without fire, is that even possible? No. It was just kind of hilarious because a lot of people were doing different things. And it was just, we're like, what kind of punishment? It's, like, it's actually a punishment because you, we're looking at the food, but we cannot cook it. Stop this rubbish. Ah, rubbish you, yeah. Stop this rubbish. Ah, what are you doing? Like, like, ah, I want to check the things and see what is available for us. You guys should, you guys should. You guys should. You guys should. You it well. Leave it. Yesterday, you couldn't even argue with her, I'll show you, remember? What? That was... I want to argue with the other one, argue with the other one. What? What? Do you think God of the food, I will not argue with her? I want to argue with her, argue with her now. Stop being insensitive. They gave her food, you don't argue with Because they don't argue about... They don't argue about... If something... They don't argue about food, don't give you. Someone said that this morning, that you guys are all cool with Geraldine because she has the food now. I'm like, no. I mean, if there's a reason for us to argue, we probably would have argued and I would still eat the food because she would have still given me either ways. Actually, I don't have issue with any issue with promise because... um. We only had a misunderstanding the first day initially. But later, that same day, I went to apologize to her. So I apologized to her and she said, no problem. <laughs> we need some food. We need some food. We need some food. We need some food. We need some food to chop nana before we get gas. Before we gas. Give us some fire now. 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 Even my voice on the go. Because no. No food. No food. Extra carefully selected. Premium barley. The finest of hops. And the purest of waters. Extra matured. Is the extra time taken to brew the ultimate beer. Enjoy the extra mature taste from the ultimate beer. Gilda, the ultimate. Drink responsibly. I feel very bad to be the first person to be kicked off to Gilda Ultimate Search. With your dismal performance today as the first person to drop, you stand evicted from Good or Ultimate Search Season 8. You know, it's, uh, I can't really explain how I feel, man. But bad, bad will suffice. Bad. Well, if I had to do this over again, I would concentrate more. I think I, I kind of lost focus along the line because uh, the camp situation. I remember well when I was in camp, I was thinking about home. I was missing my bed you know, the comfort of my home and everything. I think I somewhat lost uh, focus. And then while, while I was doing the task, that got me kicked out. Whoa. I was in for a very short period of time, but I can say I learned a lot. Uh, in this life, you need to be able to endure and persevere. Nothing good comes easy. You know, I've tried for four years. You know, tried getting into the Gold Ultimate Search for four years. And then I get in, finally. And on the first task, the first day, so to speak, I get kicked out. It's crazy, but uh, I just somehow I need to console myself uh, and find solace. And the fact that I know a lot of people that have tried five years, they would give anything just to get the little fame I got. I mean, I got some fame, a little, a little bit. That's not what I wanted, but... I mean, it's something. And right now, I kind of had this feeling that 
I won't be surprised if you have three girls being the only three people picked for the, the final contest because what happened yesterday I surprised everybody. But if I were to pick just on a neutral ground, I would pick Sam, Sam Lazarus. I would pick uh, Kevin and I'll pick Alvin. I'm a determined young chap and future is very bright for me. So, as the first contestant to be evicted from the Golda Ultimate Search Season 8 Contest of Champions, we bade Kende a fond farewell and wish him luck with his future endeavours. Reality has just begun to dawn on me. This isn't a joke, it's for real. Back in camp, the neighbors are coming for a visit to see who the new inhabitants are. <laughs> Samuel is leaving Kane's name on a tree as a reminder, while Kevin and Promise seem to be moving closer and closer. What are you writing there? How many days you stayed here? In memory of Kenny. Um, I'm gonna miss him. You are really jobless, man. None of your business. It's two, the girls, they love me, why me? Maybe I said that you behind me. Customers will wait. You call, you write your name. I think I met you before. I said, 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 I <laughs> While the rest of the contestants are relaxing or trying to sleep, Promise and Betty talk up a storm. Now the back was fast. Oh boy. The guy is like that. We said the guy is going to fuck up. Hey, with the ogre. It's big. Every time, every time. Thank you, W. Come. In every movie. No, but Betty, 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 have you seen this video? Your love is my... Uh, awesome. Can we take it back to the day? Well, to explain my change in attitude, really, to be honest with you, I wouldn't say it's... Uh, okay, let's say it's a change in attitude because everybody has always known me to be quiet and reserved, keeping to myself. But the hunger was multiplied by three. And that's a desperate change for me. I've never been this hungry in all my life. So I had to just kind of do something to pass out the whatever it is. Don't let, don't let back it up, you chick haunt you. Oh, chick, he's single. He's, he's, he's single. He's single, my foot. He's single. He's single. He's ready for me to come and marry him. Star. <laughs> 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 if you might back it up, you will use your avatar head. Avatar plus Eddie Guerrero. Who are you to give it to? Promise gets a new nickname. King of the jungle. <laughs> And as the other contestants talk and lie around, Samuel has slipped out of camp with Alvin following. This morning, this morning I went looking for food. I actually found something. I found a lot of things. I found fruits. But you know, sometimes they don't eat the forbidden fruits. I know they were told not to eat fruit. Some people said they said we should eat orange, but like, despite the hunger, let's not. 
go against the law that was put on the ground. Right now, I'm very hungry. I can't even think. Everything is delicious. <laughs> Not knowing whose it is and being respectful to uh, local custom, right they decide to leave it. And sometimes some will be green and yes, still right. So why do we need to waste time now? I was gonna pick one out. See, this is the devil. This is not the devil. This is God giving us vision. The garden of Eden. The, the garden of Eden. They say, don't touch that Abu. forbidden fruit. Trials. Challenges. Drive. Focus. Courage. Determination. Gulda, the ultimate. It's time to go and face today's challenge. Will there be more people evicted? A good morning to you all. Good morning, sir. And welcome to another beautiful day for us to do some challenges in the Gouda Ultimate Search Season 8, the Contest of Champions. As you can see, in the Ultimate Search, not even rain or too much sunshine can stop us from performing our duty. Our game today will combine strength, energy, a lot of thinking, patience, which always is a virtue, and of course, intelligence. All that are combined in what you will do this morning. Well, as we say in show business, the show has to go on. And who knows what today has in store for us. Who knows who's going to leave? Whether more than one person will leave? We don't know. Behind you, you will see nine colorful ladders. Very colorful ladders. Nine of them because there are nine of you. And of course, on the ropes, you will see nine keys. We have assembled one ladder, the blue one, for you to see how it's going to be when you finish doing it. But all the others lying down are not assembled at all. So you do the assembly. You can choose any of the ladders, you know. You assemble them nicely. And when the game starts, you assemble yours. You climb up. Simple task. Get the key. Come down from the ladder. Disassemble the ladder again and move over here. Now, this is where the challenge begins. The first set are nine keys. Here you have eight. So only eight people will do the same thing here and get these eight keys. When you get yours, you come down, disassemble again, and move on to this one, this third set, where you have seven keys here. So only seven people will have the good fortune to get a key here. When you get that, these keys are colored, nicely colored, to tally with the locks on the boxes. So you can pick any of the keys, but check the color very well. The color code from the key shows you what lock can open with it. So you open it, whatever you see inside these boxes, hold it up, and that's it. Clear? Yes, sir. You're not allowed to touch the poles. Are you ready to play now? Yes, sir. Go. The game starts with all nine contestants. Only seven oh, will get to the end. There's patience, there's mental energy, there's good calculation. A whole lot is built into this game. Let's watch and see how they perform. It's not only about speed, it's about accuracy, how good you build your ladder. We don't want anybody toppling over, okay? Right. Olas 
seems to be too impatient to get the rope through. It takes great concentration and patience to get the rope through the holes. Make sure your ladder is well placed on the ground, firmly on the ground, so that when you climb up, you don't topple over. Make sure your ropes are well secure. Look carefully where you're going and the keys you want to untie. Okay? Samuel is also struggling. Franklin is up first, closely followed by Geraldine. When you get a key, you come down and dismantle your ladder and then go for the second set. As Franklin is disassembling his keys. ladder, both Geraldine and Dismantle Kevin are getting their nicely. first if we key. If you find a rope still attached to it, you'll be disqualified. See, Franklin is already on the second rung of the, of the competition. When you come down, you nicely dismantle your ladder. Bring it over here. Betty, Promise and Alvin get their keys. Ola Mantle. and Samuel are still struggling with and their assembly. So the next set of keys. Kevin arrives at the anyone. second key in the second place. Now everyone is at the second base, except for Samuel and Ola. One of these two will be the first to go. Well. Ola and Samuel are still battling with the first set of eight keys. Now, several of them are here. Ola and Samuel are battling with their own keys. The very first set of nine keys, they are still there at the starting point. And Franklin is really doing good for himself. He's up again and trying to get the second set of keys. While Franklin is getting his Matthew, second key, Ola key is reaching for her first. Move on to the next stage. Leading by far, Franklin moves on to his third key, while Ola and Samuel are oh, still yeah, struggling with the tough. first one. Franklin is already on the last set of keys. Yeah, he's busy assembling his ladder. Samuel gives up and is the I first person to leave up. the game. Yeah, I think Samuel has given up right from the beginning. Betty moves on to the last key. Samuel, what's going on? You still have a chance, man. Go at it, go at it, man, go at it. There are still keys hanging here. You don't give up that easily, man. Go at it, there are still keys here. You can climb, you can go to another, any other one. You can still go further up. Take it easy, patience is a virtue. Franklin wins the game. If you pull, the rope will tighten more. Come on, Samuel, you still stand a chance. Go ahead, man. Raise whatever is there up. Yeah! Stand like that, man. Betty follows closely. Look for the color that matches your key. Look for the, the color. Whatever key you have, look for the color that matches it. Open it. You still stand a chance, man. Go at it. Betty and second. Yeah! Second person. Hold it up, hold it up. Yeah. 
Betty, yeah. Betty, that's good. Geraldine finishes in third place. Betty, that's good. Um, I see Geraldine opening her box. There you go. Geraldine is the third person to raise a flag, a yellow flag. All right, I see Kevin striding very majestically to another set of keys. Kevin ends up in fourth place. All right. Okay, Kevin raises a flag. Uh, I see Alvin fiddling with the lock over there. He opens the box. Alvin is fifth. And Alvin raises a flag. We have three ladies Struggling with their ladders. She's trying to get a key. Does she make it? Patience is a virtue. And she does, really. Check the color of your key. Ah, now we got one key left. We got one key left. Anastasia gets the last key. Well, you can't do that. You can't do that, except she comes down. Which means that Samuel and Ola that. lost Ola. the game. So just wait. If she comes down, fine. Uh, Samuel, can you sit over there? Yeah, nicely sit over there, Samuel. Now Anastasia got, gets the last key. Ola joins Samuel. Box. And let's it's see what a got very inside. happy group. And finally, Anastasia has a flag. So there are seven of you. Can you raise your flag? Wave your flag. Like that music, you know. Yeah. Um, we got Franklin there first. We got um, Betty got there second. Geraldine third. Of course, um, Kevin, Alvin, and Anastasia. Wonderful. You guys clap for yourselves. They're real good. Those you got flags, raise them up. Yeah, nice and colorful. <sighs> Franklin, how does it feel to win? Um, feels nice. Piece Seriously. of cake, huh? Seriously. Man. <laughs> Seriously. Samuel, what happened? You didn't feel, you didn't even leave the starting point. I was struggling with the rope getting into the ladder hole, but I guess today just wasn't my day. Again. Yeah. Ola, what happened? Um, I actually did my ladder wrong. I had already, you know, tied the two ropes at the top. When I realized that I couldn't tie the third one, I had to remove the two ropes and. Oh, and you lost precious time in the process. Yes. Well, these things happen. That's why I always emphasize about paying attention to detail. And I talked about patience. Yes, you, you know, we always reward winners. And uh, we have a reward for you, Franklin. Now you got, you got fire. <laughs> but check this. Um, between you and um, Geraldine, who has the food, um, you can come into an arrangement where if she gives you food, you give her fire. Definitely. And uh, if he gives you fire, you give, you give, him, you give him food. So, um, that's it. <laughs> Step forward. <laughs> yeah, you got light now. Good, 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 good. Okay, guys, it's been quite an interesting challenge today. Like I said before, Keep your eyes open for the artifacts that were collected by the Order of Heroes over the centuries. You'll be finding them as time goes on because they will play a major, major role in this contest. Go back to your camp. I'll see you again tonight at the place of the talking drum. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Go now. Nice challenge. Very interesting. With unexpected results. Well, we'll see them again at the place of the talking drum tonight. See you then. I'm feeling um, happy. Um, it's been a great day for me. Um, 
I feel a bit, I'm a bit disappointed at the moment. Um, I came almost last. Was, that was, that's um, a bit disappointed in myself. Um, I guess I was tensed and I give up easily, too quickly, and I feel really bad. Uh, at the moment, right now, I'm, I'm just so happy I, I made it through this task. I feel good that we're going to actually have a meal today after three days of not eating anything. I'm so, so very hungry. I've never had this kind of experience before. Um, going three days without eating. I think the last time I tried uh, was in church. <laughs> I, I don't think I really actually did the three days. Uh, right now, um, food is always, always on my mind. I was, the, the, rope, the, part, the rope I was actually used, that I started with, was quite wet. So I was really struggling to fix it into the hole, the little hole in the wood. You know, and it wasn't even going, so I kept on changing it and trying, like, come on, going, going. It wasn't really going, so I was forcing it and forcing it. When I started to assemble my ladder, I did it the wrong way. So I, I already fixed the two ropes at the top, so I had to remove it and turn it around then start all over again. Challenges. Drive. Focus. Courage. Determination. Gulda, the ultimate. Back in camp, they find the pyramid of Ramesses awaiting them. What is hidden inside? Treasure this artifact of Ramesses and what is hidden inside. For a brief moment, the idea of food waiting for them is forgotten as they struggle to open the pyramid. Keep turning. Keep turning. Okay. 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 So yours, bro. Guardian of the Ramesses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm a loser, yeah? Don't lose that. Alright. So you said I was a loser. Pharaoh Ramses II of Egypt, sometimes referred to as Ramesses the Great was the third Egyptian pharaoh, reigning from 1279 BC to 1213 BC. He is regarded as the greatest, most celebrated and most powerful pharaoh of the Egyptian empire. He is believed to have taken the throne in his late teens and is known to have ruled Egypt for 66 years. Early in his life, Ramses II embarked on numerous campaigns to return previously held territories back from Nubian and Hittite hands and to secure Egypt's borders. After many years of conflict, he was the first king in history to sign a treaty with his enemies, the Hittites, ending long years of wars and hostility. The treaty can still be considered a conclusive model, even when applying today's standards. On his death, he was buried in a tomb in the Valley of the Kings. His body was later moved to a royal cache, where it was discovered in 1881 and is now on display in the Cairo Museum. The pharaoh's mummy reveals a hooked nose and strong jaw and stands at some 1.7 meters. 
In 1974, Egyptologists visiting his tomb noticed that the mummy's condition was rapidly deteriorating and flew it to Paris for examination. Ramesses was issued an Egyptian passport that listed his occupation as king, deceased. The mummy was received at Le Bourget Airport, just outside Paris, with the full military honors befitting a king. Um, I'm going to use the, um, the match to my own um, advantage because um, it's not easy to win a task. Soon, however, the pyramid is forgotten because now they have food and fire. When you put the two together, it spells meal. I think if um, Franklin uses the, the, the match stick uh, to his advantage, that would really be greedy because the food is, is, the food is not, um, it's not even enough. So we all have to, to share like equally. So we just have to manage everything right now. Is it too far apart? Good. It's very far apart, too far apart. Yeah. We want the food to done fast, as in nothing will hinder it. I don't think Frank is going to put any condition on the match because uh, technically the food is not his. It's for Geraldine's and once she says everybody gets the same amount of food, everybody gets the same amount of food. Butter. what, two? Some people are harder at work preparing the food than others. Just get your ass up and help me. Don't bring them again. Chop them, Joe. You're always lazy. I'm always lazy. You just go back. You want me to work all the days. That's it. Live your life. You know those days when we were young? Mm, better. They cut first. You don't cut now. Okay. Don't cut. I go cut again. Oh, God. Oh. Thank God. Oh. Don't, 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 don't. I don't do like 15 minutes. Let's count 1 to 1,000. <laughs> Let's count 1 to 1,000. 1, 2, two Finally, late afternoon of day three, they finally get to enjoy their first meal. Geraldine carefully divides the food. Wait, wait, wait. I have this problem now. Shut up, shut up. Because sharing the food, I think the sharing formula is fair because we all shared it equally and no cheating. Mm, Geraldine did well in sharing the food equally. I'll trust her so she's the owner of the food. If she wants to give anybody greater portion, it's her making. So The sharing was good. I like to be like you. Can I bring my own or add? Eh? Uh, well, now I've, I've actually had um, lunch and I feel good, I feel strong after like three days of no food. After the meal, I feel so great. Feed me, mama. Um, after the meal, the two contestants had lost uh, kind of like share, making, sharing their will. I love you so much. Yeah, I understand. That I can't sleep. As darkness falls, they try to cheer up the losers. See your eyes. I don't feel agree. I never put diamond for your eyes. No, 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 I never put the ring. Yeah, more, more tell on my mind. You know, it's a competition. Oh, okay. It's actually competition. I know. You need to give the other. Hey, hey, so we used to listen to Faith back in the days. Yes, yes. And he went just like the sun. Hey, hey, light of my life. The only one. We are going to take this. Then it's off to the place of the talking drum. Well, I, I mean, considering the fact that you know two of them actually failed, her and Sam, I kind of, I'm kind of double-minded. Would both of them go out? Would Sam go out for not even completing the task at all? It's a bit of, uh, would both of them go out?
Um, if I would judge on um, pertaining what happened yesterday, I believe what will happen to Samuel and Ola Duni ah, will be eviction. That's what I want to believe. Extra carefully selected. Premium Bali. The finest of hops. And the purest of waters. Extra matured. Is the extra time taken to brew the ultimate beer. Enjoy the extra mature taste from the ultimate beer. Gilda, the ultimate. Drink responsibly. Good evening to you all and welcome again to the place of the talking drum. Good evening, sir. Today was a very peculiar day. You'll agree with me? So, how did you enjoy your day? Betty? Today was good because we had food to eat. Ah, <laughs> I was going to come to that. So what did you eat? Uh, we, we had yam and oil, red oil. R yam and red oil? Yes. yes. Yeah. Now pepper. added pepper. some pepper, salt, salt, crayfish. Wow, real traditional yes. food. We actually peeled the yam. Oh, the guys yesterday. did Yesterday. Waiting for fire. Yesterday? Yeah, so the fire came today. So we now have <laughs> Yeah, so I'm uh, talking about the fire now. Franklin, did you, did you share the fire with them because you wanted to or you were compelled to do so? Yeah, uh, I had to look at their faces and I saw that it was totally going to be funny trying to hold, withhold the fire. So. <laughs> okay, you were scared of a gang up? Uh, not necessarily because I know I can handle them. Uh, but. Um, <laughs> You know, I didn't want what happened in, in uh, 1942 to happen again. So. <laughs> That's good. Uh, Geraldine, uh, you had custody of the food. Were you forced to share with them or out of your large heart you decided to share for everybody to eat? <laughs> out of my large heart, sir. Oh, I see. Yes, sir. You were concerned about them? Yes, sir. Ah, <laughs> very interesting. Now, tell me about the pyramid that mysteriously appeared in your camp. Yeah, but after we came back from the task, oh. we just came to the, um, to the camp and um, Frank. Frank saw it. Frank, you again? I, I, I could get used to this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you found the pyramid? Yes, sir. Do you have it here? Yes, sir. Ah. Wow. You, you, know, you know what it is? Yes, sir. Have you been able to uh, solve the mystery inside? Yes, sir. So what is inside? A key. Is it still there? Yes, sir. There, just hold it up so I can see. Hold it up nicely. Ah, wonderful. Put it back. That pyramid is the pyramid of Pharaoh Ramses. Pharaoh Ramses was one of the greatest pharaohs of ancient Egypt of all times. He also got a mention in the Bible. Oh yes. So what you are holding there is a treasure that comes from antiquity and has stood the test of time for centuries past. Therefore, that key that you found inside, if I were you, I would guard it with everything that I have. Because believe you me, you will need that key in the near future. This is for you all. Today's task was challenging, right? Yes. Let me start with you, Franklin. I mean, before every one of them could even start, you had already gone ahead. How did you do it? What was your mental state? Um, my mental state, um, I, I was focused. I already played it in my mind, how I was going to um, move from one stage to another. Um, so it was quite easy for me to sort out. Would you say uh, your performance today was like a revenge for yesterday's beer? Yeah, uh, something like that, sir. There's something interesting that I've observed between 
Geraldine and Betty. Now tell me, between both of you, is there some kind of uh, rivalry going on? Or maybe Betty was trying to get back at Geraldine for coming first yesterday and she came second. Awesome. Betty, was that right? It just happened. I, I wasn't even looking. I was just concentrating on what I was doing. So, but I wanted to get back at the boys and suddenly I just turned and saw Frank. I'm like, what? Frank? <laughs> You want yeah. to beat the boys again today? Yes, I want to beat the boys. I want to prove a point again, you know, that we, we run this thing. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? But his Promise. height, his height, his height. height. Frank, Franklin's height was an advantage. Was an advantage? Seriously. Yes. Oh. Yeah, but yesterday, my yeah, height it, was a disadvantage. <laughs> right? <laughs> all right. It's all right, Betty, right. sit down. Promise. Sir. You were clearly in distress at some point. Yes, I was. I could, I could, I could see you straining, and the key was just there. And oh my God, what happened? Um, I started out wrong at first. I, I got the ladder all mixed up, so it slowed me down a little bit. So I had to take my time, understand the ladder, then rush up to the next point, and then the next point. I, you know, I was just glad that I got there on time, and I wasn't the last person, you know, to the spot. You know, I nearly came there to take the key away yes, from you? I, I know. That yeah. would have been disaster. Totally. Because there you were, up there, the key yeah, was just by was, your hand. It was a little bit tight. So I had to just, you know, relax and then untie it, you know, with patience, like you said. So Yeah, yeah it's a virtue. Yes. And it paid off in the it end, did, right? It did, totally. Oh my God, aren't you lucky you're doing something? <laughs> Kevin. Yes, sir. You were so happy when you got there finally. Was I? Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's all good. So you all got challenged in one way or the other, being able to overcome. There's this thing about dog having his day. This dog didn't have his day today. Stand up, man. Really, really. I want to know what happened. I guess I was probably not prepared mentally for what oh. came today. And oh. um, I'm sorry I disappointed you guys. Are you sorry for yourself? I'm actually I'm very, very disappointed you be, at man, myself. Because, I mean, um, I... I, for one, expected you to be one of those holding up that flag. And you didn't get any. And so, um, this is it for you, man. Lazarus Samuel, for your dismal performance today, which we cannot tolerate anymore, you are hereby evicted from Golder Ultimate Search Season 8. You cannot be among the contestants for championship. So step forward, let me have your bandana. You go right back to the camp, pack all your belongings, and leave the camp at once. There goes another dream. Dashed. Lack of performance to our standard. I feel disappointed um, at myself. Um, I know a lot of people will be looking at me as a lot of things like hoping on me, and you know, I don't know, I don't even know what to say, but I'm sorry I, I let a lot of people down. It's not been easy getting to this stage and, well, I just thank God for everything. I mean, it's all good. I think who I'm going to miss most is probably Betty or Anastasia because I'm closer to them than any other person. It's real as real as it gets. But then there's another option. If you feel so strongly for him, we can swap. Anybody wants to go in his place? He's every man for himself, right? Good. Well, I guess, uh, Allah, please stand. You were there. So close, so close that I felt you would have one key in the end that has colored to give you a flag. 
I shouldn't have an excuse for my failure to get a scarf today, but it just, it was just very unfortunate. I'm really disappointed. I didn't see that coming. And so you, you are evicted forthwith from the ultimate search. Go back to the camp after you've given me your bandana and leave. Adios, amigos. Alvin, emotions are allowed. But then in the jungle, is for the tough. And only the tough will survive to be there in the contest of champion. You are now seven. But in the end, only three of you, just three, will move on to the next level of contest. Who and who will make the three? I don't know. But this has shown you that in the ultimate search, there is no mercy. Go back to your camp and prepare for tomorrow. Good night. Again, this is the symbol that they were here. But then the show must move on and we don't have mercy. Good night. Um, you win some, you lose some. I'm a bit disappointed, but um, it's a game. You know, someone has to be the winner, so... I wish I could have done better today. I, I, I really didn't see that coming. But it's all good, you know. The fun memories from the very beginning, from the screening to the interviews, it was a great, great, great experience. It was, I've never, it was something I've never experienced in my life and I will cherish it for the rest of my life. It's amazing.